All right, hey, shalom to the elect. I want to start by giving all the praises, honor, and glory to whom it rightfully belongs, which is Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Wadash. All right, Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. All right, Yahweh is the one of the world ignorantly calls God. Yah means he, and Hawa means to be or exist. So Yahweh means he exists or he is or he to be. All right, Yahweh is not a so called white man, he's a so called black man. Baha Shum means in the name, Ba means in, Ha means the, and Shum means name. And Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Messiah. All right, Yahweh Shai is the one of the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Yah means he, and Hawa Shai means save or deliver. So Yahweh Shai's name means he is the savior or he is the deliverer. All right, Baha Shum. And Yahweh Shai also is not a so called white man, he's a so called black man. Baha Shum, once again, also means in the name, Rechakwadash means Holy Spirit. Rechal means spirit and Kodash means holy. So I said all the praises, honor, and glory belongs to Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shah, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. And this lesson, you know, is going into, you know, the fact that the elect are the true alpha males, man. You know? So I got this screenshot off of Google because I typed in the alpha male mentality on Google, right? And then it gave me, you know, some characteristics that an alpha male will have. So it says the alpha leader's mentality is strong. And, you know, it's a strong, confident, assertive, and in control of his environment, you know. And strong, now look, the elect, they don't get their strength off of themselves, man. Okay? You know, Yahweh Baha Shem is the one that gives his men strength. Okay, so then it says confident, you know. Hey, you know, let me get the scripture. I know I brought this out before, all right? But, you know, I did say I wanted to do a lesson on this. But this is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 2 and verse 10. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Okay? So, you know, the elect, confidence, you know, Confidence is when you know you're 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 sure you're sure of something, you know. As a brother break as a brother in the camp breaks down the word confident meaning with faith, you know. And the elect trust in the Lord. They have faith in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man, at all at all times. Okay? Not faith, look, not faith in a gun or anything. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 44 and verse 6 says, For I will not trust. See, for I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. Okay? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 91. And this is also the um the mindset the elector is gonna have now and when Jacob's trouble happens. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 91, starting in verse 1. Well, the point is in verse 2, yeah. When I said the mindset the elect will have now and in Jacob's trouble, I'm really talking about the second verse, and I'll read that real quick. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 91 and verse 2. I will say of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, he is my refuge and my fortress. Look up those words. He is my refuge and my fortress, my power. In him will I trust. You see? And it said, the Lord, you know, whoever trusted in the Lord was confounded. All right? So no one, you know, trusted in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh. None of the, the elect, trusted, you know, none of the Lord's men trusted in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai and was left hanging. The Lord always came through. Look at the, you know, look at the counts of generations of old. All right? You know? So confident. Okay? This is assertive. Right. You know? The elect, you know. Hey, you know, you might have a, like I heard, like I heard brothers say, you know, you might, you know, before you came into the truth, you know, you might have a, you know, like a, like a, you know, you might be a certain way. You know, in this case, you know, you might be. You might have been, you know, not assertive, you know, kind of simpy, you know, or, you know, just overall timid person. When you come into the truth and the Lord, you know, sends you through trials and tribulations, which makes you stronger and rougher and tougher. OK, you know, that stuff, you know, it, it, you know, it, it makes you, you know, pretty much you have more so of like an assertive spirit about you, you know. OK. It says, and in control of his environment. 
Now, the thing with this is, oh, and by the way, regarding with assertive, okay, you know, in reference to women, because that's one thing, you know, men, you know, are not, you know, a lot of men aren't assertive to women because they're, they're afraid that she'll, you know, she'll leave them, you know, so in regards to a woman, okay, you know, the elect understand, like, hey, you know, we done, you know, we done gave up our lives, so fuck this woman, you know, we ain't, well, I say we, Lord willing, I'm a part of the elect, but, you know, the hopeful elect, all right, they not, they not bending over backwards for no woman, all right, you know, I'm, one thing I always keep in mind is like, bro, when you really don't care about this society, when you don't care about this flesh, things of this world, you really ain't gonna give a fuck about it, bitch. To be honest, you know, it's gonna be the last thing on your mind. Well, let me get this real quick. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 25, and verse 26. It says, If she go not as thou wouldest have her, cut her off from thy flesh, and give her a bill of divorce, and let her go. So it's pretty, in, in, in other words, if she's being a demon, let let that hoe go, man. You know what rhymes with hoe? Go. If she's, you know, if she's being a demon, let her ass go. Okay? The elect understand that they are the heads over the woman. You understand that the woman is supposed to be in subjection unto them. Submissive. Okay? Say, you know, a woman's supposed to be submissive unto her unto her husband, unto her man. And the elect understand this. Alright? You know, it may take some character building to get to that point, but overall, they let know that you know they're over the woman. Okay, that's 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 a man's rightful position. That's his God-given position to be over a woman. Okay. What else? It said, and in control of his environment. Well, the elect understand that the Lord is in control of everything. Okay. Everything, you know, and the elect hope, you know, that they're on the Lord's good side. Okay. You know. And the Lord will protect his men. So see the elect walk with this type of confidence. You know, the alpha males are said to have. Okay? The elect walk with this type of confidence, man. Alright? Another one it says an alpha male mindset is being confident and comfortable with yourself. You know? And once again the confident part, but is so far as comfortable with yourself, you know, let me say this, man. You know, hey, we um, I I I I I'll look at it in this light. The elect is comfortable, you know, with not being attached to this place. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna switch the words up. You know, the elect ain't attached to this place, bro. You know, the elect ain't attached to this place. If they ain't attached to this place, you know, they're not really gonna give a fuck. You know, it says having self control. Yeah. You know, you got to have self-control and this flesh is going to fight you. OK. Um, you know, and it's not just in regards to fasting and praying and stuff. You know, it's also in regards to, you know, other things. Let me see that real quick. This is. The book of Proverbs, chapter 16 and verse 32. He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh the city. All right, so the elect is going to rule their spirit. What does it mean to rule your spirit? Have self-control, okay? You know, the elect is going to have that self-control, man, you know? You know, you get one, one example is when you get it, when you get vexed in society because you is going to get vexed. When you get vexed, when you get vexed in this society, all right, you get mad, man. Ecclesiastes 1 and 18. Let me get that real quick. This is the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 18. For in much wisdom is much grief. See? You know? Because when you look at the way the world is, you know, and you realize when you when you when you understand the ways you how about me outside, right? And you understand how things are supposed to be, and you look at the world and see how out of order it is. All right, you, you know, it's going to vex you, you know? You look up the word vex, you know? It's going to frustrate you, okay? It's going to make you mad, all right? Even Apostle Gabar said, you know, being this truth, you know, you pretty much become a misanthrope. Look up that word, misanthrope, 
you know this goes into someone who hates you know mankind pretty much you know you don't like these fucking people you know they they wicked as all hell you know i definitely feel that you know and i like feeling this because it's it's it's, it's out of righteousness all right it's a righteous anger okay you know but the thing is you know tying it back to self-control you get angry but it has to be a controlled anger the brother tells the war cam he goes through the he go, he, you know he says it from time to time you know so it has to be a controlled anger because you can't you can't just act you know out of character you can't just go around you know because you're angry and start killing people you know you, you gotta understand you gotta move with wisdom man you can't do that all right you're gonna cause hell and maybe even hell on brothers you know because now here it is you don't act it out of anger you know because you frustrated and vexed you know now the cops got a hold of you start questioning you all right and find out you know what the cause of your actions was and now they're coming after your brothers you see that's just i'm just giving a possible scenario you know so not only with that you know just overall you know elect you know you're gonna um you know be trying to rule their spirit man okay have that self-control that discipline okay it says it's staying in the moment knowing you can handle anything thing is we don't you know it's not of our own strength it's not let me say it like this it's not the elect it's not of the elect's own strength you know it's it's it's, it's um you know it's yahweh bahashim yahweh shy all right that's behind them okay it's not of their own strength you know that they um you know feel like they can handle anything they move with confidence knowing that yahweh bahashim yahweh shy is going to be with them and guess what? No one said no one that they can handle anything. However, the book of Job, chapter 5, verse 19, he shall deliver thee in six troubles. Who's going to deliver the elect in six troubles? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This is regarding Jacob's trouble. It says six troubles, you know, the six troubles, the seven troubles here is synonymous with the seven trumpets in Revelation. All right? And, hey, so this so this six troubles, you know, is leading up to that seventh, that seventh trump or that seventh trouble. All right? You know, it's, it's, it's pretty. It's leading up. It's synonymous with the seventh trump. So the six troubles leading up. It's Jacob's trouble leading up to the seventh trump. So the Lord said here that he will. He's going to deliver his elect. So he, so pretty much the scripture saying Yahweh Bashim is going to deliver his elect throughout. He's going to protect and preserve his elect throughout all Jacob's trouble. Okay, and then also too, the elect understand this is the book of First Corinthians chapter ten verse thirteen. There hath no. There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to men. Here's the point. But Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. So the Lord ain't going to allow more hell on you than you can bear. Because you are going to go through trials and tribulation. Acts to 14th chapter and the 22nd verse. Right? But the Lord here, he's saying, but it says here, that the Lord isn't going to put more hell on you than you can bear. Okay? So Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, you know, isn't going to put more, you know, trials and tribulations or you, you can bear so pretty much whatever you go whatever you let go through they can handle okay you know but um yeah you see so these are you know you see how the elect match up with being alpha males but guess what in jacob's trouble you know one thing like like brothers were saying I remember brothers were saying um women you know they flock to power okay and you already know huh, the elect is gonna yeah man <laughs> the elect that spiritual power man you know women gonna want to get down with the elect from that from seeing that okay you know the scriptures say here in the book of isaiah the 32nd chapter in the second verse says in a man this is the man of the lord an elect man of yahweh shy shall be as in hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place as a shadow of a great rock in a weary land okay so in all, when all hell breaks loose, an elect man of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is going to be like a safe haven to these women. Okay, you know they're going to be protectors in that day. Why? Because they're going to be ha they're going to have spiritual power to be able to protect them. Okay, you know, and the women they're going to see that. You know, and these women crying about protection now. Oh, men don't want to protect us no more. Or black men don't want to protect us no more. Guess what? Hey, in Jacob's trouble. Hey, man, you 
you know the the, the um shit they might not get protected the way they is okay you know and of course people equate alpha alpha males to having a bunch of women you know and I mean that's going to come Isaiah the fourth chapter in the first verse Isaiah chapter 4 verse 1 it says in that day Jacob's trouble Jeremiah 30 and 7 seven women shall take hold of one man and this seven isn't talking about exactly the number seven no it just means completion so a brother could have two women ten women you know enough women that satisfies that brother he'll have it says shall take hold of one man excuse me multiple women going to take hold of one man and this man is an elect man of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai it's a saying we will eat our own it says we will eat our own we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel only let us be called by that name to take away our reproach all right but it says shall take hold of i take hold of in the hebrew is kazak and the point that you know matches up with this is to press would be urgent so, so these women are going to be begging and pleading to be with an elect man and you have a bus you shot see and as apostle gabar said you know when all hell breaks loose, these women are going to be running you down you know and he was saying something along the lines of as long as you you know you're a man that um you know as long as you're a man that as long as you're a real man you know i forget what else he said but one thing he was saying you could stand in the face of adversity you know and the with the yahweh bahashim yahweh shah the elect will be able to stand in the face of adversity man <laughs> the elect really are the true alpha males yo <laughs> Not these men like Andrew Tate, because in that day they're going to bitch up. If the Lord wants to kill them, they're going to die. All right? You know? So, hey, man, you know, brothers, hold your head up, man. Hold your head up. Yeah, the society feels vexing. And sometimes you may not feel like you're the prize, man. But, you know, you are. You know, ultimately, you know, <laughs> like when it comes down to the point between the man and the woman, the man is really the prize. We don't need women. They need us. Okay, this society wasn't built off women. Okay, or built by women. It was built by men. Okay, but hey, you know, I wanted to bring this lesson out. You know, the elect men are the true high value men. Okay, they are the true high value males, the, uh, the alpha males. All right, and that's going to be shown in the times to come. So you brothers, stay in it, man. Keep your head up, man. We almost up out of here. So, Lord, within this lesson was edifying, I'm going to give all the praises, honor, and glory to whom it rightfully belongs, which is Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Wadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles, the great millstone, every well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. Peace, which in Hebrew is Shalom, so Shalom to the elect.